It's a morning report. Let's give the coin a spin here. Bull or bear? Let's see what it closes at today. It says we're closing at a bull today. I mean a bear today. Sorry about that. Good morning. Hey, what's up? Oh, man, there's a manatee doing a barrel roll. <laughs> what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Uh, the cameras for the ocean and the uh, local cameras here were just kind of not very attractive. Lots of wind, lots of uh, clouds, and the underwater cams are completely trash. Uh, they haven't cleaned them lately. So I pulled up the live manatee cam, which is in uh, central Florida, Hamosa Springs or something like that. Recently went up there and visited myself. They're so cool, man. These animals, it just they're so graceful looking, but they're incredibly huge, man. They call them sea cows here in Florida. Uh, there's one right here. When the sea cows are out, it is a very, again, very relaxing thing to watch here. A good way to start your mornings with a cup of coffee, watching the sea cows, or, and again, this is the uh, Homo, Homo, Homo Springs camera right here. And uh, look at that guy. He's he, probably about eight feet long, and he's, I don't even know how much, what, several hundred pounds? A ton, no, they're more than that, like a ton or something like that. They're literally bigger than cows, too. Uh, but very graceful in the water. There goes a bunch of uh, uh, Jack right there can't eat those suckers, but uh, it's kind of fresh and salt water. It's amazing uh, how these uh, fish right here adapt in that kind of environment. Well, let's take a look at the quote for the day. And again, it is a coffee show this morning. Something I don't do very often, but uh, got a little bit extra help in here, helping me out, taking uh, uh, some of the uh, phone calls and everything off my back for a little bit in the morning so I think I'm going to try to get back to this morning format as well doesn't mean I'm leaving the uh, evening format 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 but uh, uh, here we go uh, my quote for the day is patriotism is not my country is is not my country right or wrong patriotism means loving the ideals for which America stands and having the courage to speak up when these ideals are distorted for personal or political gain the American government was instituted to be the servant of the people, not our masters. And folks, this is done by Robert Heinlein. A lot of people don't know this, but Robert Heinlein wrote some books on uh, uh, running for office or how to uh, uh, campaign uh, on a grassroots level. Very good book, actually. Wrote it, uh, read it many years ago. Um, and of course, I'm a big Robert Heinlein fan as well. Uh, but he's absolutely correct here. It's, it's not is my country right or wrong? Patriotism means loving the ideals. And what are the ideals of this country? The ideals are really basically written in stone. It's called the U.S. Constitution. Those are our ideals. I'm kind of big on the first ten. I believe the first ten is all you needed. It said everything you needed to, to have. Uh, but no less, uh, the Constitution is our ideals. That's the one thing that unifies us all together. Uh, and uh, the Bill of Rights and uh, uh, those kind of things, you know. All men are created equal, which I would never change that phrase. If I would change that phrase just to kind of uh, get the ladies involved, I'd probably, I'd probably make a change that all people are created equal, I think. But at the time, <clears throat> I guess man sounded better. So. <laughs> and it was a male-dominated world when the uh, 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 Constitution was written. But the, 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 you get the point. Um, so anyways, these people in government, they've not no longer become our servants. They have tried to become our masters. And for some people, they are your masters, not your masters, but they are the masters for some people, but not for me. And obviously not for you if you're listening to my videos. Uh, good saying by Robert Heinlein. Let's get into spot prices this morning uh, and see where we're at right now. <clears throat> 17, uh, down a little bit. Yeah, down three bucks. 17.15. 1853 silver and platinum at 883.91. Folks, um, precious metals have basically been capped right now. I think they're capped at this level temporarily um, for a couple reasons. I believe that they're still scrambling to fill silver at the sub $20 level to get out of these short positions. Either that, or they're just going to monkey hammer and back down again. Uh, gold, who the heck knows why it's sitting at the 17 level? And platinum uh, sub 900, I just don't get it. But as I've been saying, what does this do? Uh, despite the manipulative, uh, uh, crooked behavior on the Crimex markets, uh, it does provide you a good opportunity to buy these metals at a, a lower price, even a lower price than, I, than, than it was, actually. Uh, so uh, a good time to uh, uh, buy metals as far as uh, uh, spot prices go. The only downside to this is premiums on a lot of these products really suck right now. Uh, I'm going to get into that too, the availability of ones, tens, the availability of silver eagles, uh, what are the better products to buy. 
and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, i got a good little article I want to read to you as well um, by GATA.org and on ZH talking about the uh, current uh, metals markets too. Um, well, let's take a look at the uh, overnight markets just to kind of see. And you know what? It's the same old shit because don't forget, Crimex, uh, uh, especially with silver, but New York Globex markets, London, New York Nymex, these are all crooked casinos right here. Uh, and, uh, uh, and who allow crooked players to play in the casino to, to knock out everyone else. Uh, but no less, there you go. Uh, green arrow indicates today, the green line indicates what we've seen today in the monkey hammer and mostly in the New York Crimex markets, uh, knocking gold down to that uh, sub 20, 17, 20 level, uh, close to 17, 15, where it's kind of uh, straightened out here. <clears throat> you know, I, I would think, I would think, and I can be completely wrong about this, that that if the intent was to drive it below 1700 we would have seen it already uh, but but again no less do not underestimate these freaking crooks and comics all right so we could see below 1700 levels just provides another opportunity to buy the stuff at, at decent prices um, as far as gold goes and since we're on the gold chart here uh, gold is uh, uh, more readily available so the premiums aren't as crazy on gold as uh, silver and I don't think gold is as you know, gold's manipulated, but uh, silver is just so manipulated. It's, it's it, uh, to the nth freaking degree uh, is why we see these super cheap prices, and I think why we're seeing really high premiums on physical products as well uh, because of that disparity. Uh, be, because uh, uh, the price discovery is dishonest. The price discovery is crooked in the uh, comp crime X markets and, and such in the silver markets. But I believe the same thing with gold markets. We're going to talk about a GATA.org article that talks about the Bank of International Settlements is the primary crook when it comes to keeping gold prices down and I would not disagree with that. Let's take a look at the 24-hour silver prices here. Uh, again, Crimex markets is where you're seeing the uh, 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 silver dump from that 1880 level down to what, 1850? Uh, almost uh, uh, what is it, 1880, 1850, yeah, 40 cents basically, 60, no, I'm sorry, 30 cents, my apology. Uh, but no less, there you go, kind of steadying it up there. And I feel the same thing too with silver. If, if they had intended to drop it below 1800, I believe we would have seen it already. Uh, does that mean we won't see it? No. I, I, I constantly, uh, you know, when we saw the, the drop from silver to 25 to 20 and the 20 to below that, um, my, my jaw dropped every time I've seen this. I've been in this industry a long time. I've been uh, buying and selling gold. I've watched these markets every day. Uh, <clears throat> you know, every day I've, I've watched these markets five days a week pretty much. Even when I'm on vacation, I'm watching what the spot prices are doing. Uh, since I was a kid, basically. Since uh, I started working with my father in 1977, I pretty much follow gold and silver prices on a daily basis. Uh, back then, you had to call in on a phone to get gold and silver prices, but now computers, it's made it much easier over the years. Uh, and we used to have a teletype system as well, but uh, okay, I'll get into that uh, some other time. Uh, but uh, 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 when, I've, when I see these uh, big hits like this, it's just like, and it's worse. It's even more in our faces. So uh, it tells me a couple things. It tells me that the, the, the system is just so freaking crooked uh, and nothing's going to get done about it. Uh, and at, that, at which point, when a system becomes so crooked and it becomes so known out there amongst different people, credibility goes to shit. It's like a casino. Comex is like a casino. The CME groups, uh, different uh, 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 markets, the Globex, the NYMEX markets, they're like casinos out there. And, uh, you know, people go play in casinos assuming that the casino is just there to make a big and they're, uh, uh, um, they're honest. You know, they're dealing the cards correctly, but they're, you know, they got a slight edge. Everyone knows that when they go to casinos. But would you go to a casino where they allowed the largest whales to cheat in games continuously? And that's exactly what Comex does, is they allow the massive co commercial banks to cheat continuously. Who are they cheating? They're mostly cheating the managed money longs, which really, who are the managed money longs? Those are the people that control people's uh, uh, retirement funds. Those are the people that control people's pensions, okay? That's the managed money fund. That's who the commercial banks are really fucking in the CME markets and the Crimex markets is the managed money longs according to Ted in the silver markets. But as far as gold markets, who's screwing people in the gold markets? Well, I'll tell you in a moment. Let's get over to this article first. Uh, okay, a uh, good article here. And, and one, one little quote here struck me more than anything that I, because I, I haven't been following all the other markets, but Gold and the Upcoming Recession, uh, authored by Alsdair McLeod via Gold Money. These guys always write some good stuff. Very lengthy, lengthy article. Uh, if you want to read it, 
uh, just uh, go to ZH and uh, or just type in gold in the upcoming recession, Zero Hedge or uh, goldmoney.com. I'm sure it's on their site as well. And uh, uh, read it. Very good article. Very in-depth. Uh, and again, we'd be here for 45 minutes just reading this. But one of the things that struck me here is, is I was unaware of uh, the basket of commodities, and they're talking about all these different, you know, um, the basket of commodities recently has fallen 17% in one month. That's pretty substantial, folks, all right? We've seen gold and silver fall, uh, but uh, uh, all the other commodities across the board in the COMEX markets, the LME markets, have uh, fallen by 17%. Uh, and <clears throat> what the article is here is suggesting that that means panic over, panic of a uh, uh, panic of uh, inflation or a hyperinflationary uh, type of uh, deal. Um, and they're saying that the, with the markets down 17% is the panic over. That's more of a rhetorical question, I, I guess, that's being asked here. Even wheat and soy prices have fallen. Dr. Copper is down. Grasping at these straws, central banks are undoubtedly relieved that inflation may be turning transient after all. <clears throat> now, follow with me, folks. Um, if, if you are the Federal Reserve and you're a central bank worldwide, I mean the Bank of International Settlements who deals with the banks, you're the Federal Reserve, you're the Central Bank of Europe or whatever, uh, the EU, um, uh, you, you, you're worried in, in a big way, you're really concerned about inflation. I mean that's what these guys are, are concerned about. This is what Powell and this is what the uh, uh, central banks worldwide are concerned about is massive inflation. It really throws a monkey hammer in their works. So. Do you put it past these central banks and these government agencies, do you put it past them that they would not manipulate the price of gold, silver, we already know they do that uh, in, in certain markets, whether it's government doing it or not, uh, probably not with silver but with gold. Um, GATA.org makes a great point, we're going to get into that in a moment, that uh, they do uh, 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 control uh, 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 gold markets. But think about this. What if they serotypously, is that a good word to use, uh, secretly, whatever, what if these big central banks like the BIS went into and had uh, uh, companies like J.P. Morgan had companies dealing for them or had back doors where nobody really know, knows and they went and knocked down the price of wheat, they knocked down the price of soy, they knocked down the price of copper. How would they do that? Well, Jesus, all they'd have to do is take a lesson from the big commercial shorts and silver. That's how they do it, okay? And, uh, and gold. So is it possible? Am I w w wading into conspiracy theory that the uh, central bankers worldwide and governments as well, uh, in order to keep inflation down, have gone into commodities markets and knocked the price of oil down, knocked the price of copper down, knocked soy down, knocked all these products down, simply and attempt, and again, knock them down artificially on the COMEX, CRIMEX, LME, London markets, okay? Uh, again, crookedly, by spoofing whatever it is they do to knock these markets down, by huge shorting. Uh, is that why commodities across the board are down to 17%? Because these guys have gone in and knocked these markets down artificially, just like they do in the uh, silver and gold markets. Uh, I believe that's very possible. This was their solution. Think about it. They have endless money. They're, they're experts. They're experts uh, at uh, uh, manipulating markets. I mean, absolute. And they got the money to do it. All right. So, you know, am I wading into conspiracy theory, thinking that the uh, commodities across the board, whether it's oil, all this other stuff, it was purposely knocked down by governments and by central bankers? Uh, I don't think so. You know, after watching the gold and silver markets and seeing how manipulated those markets are and how nobody does anything and how it's in your face it is, and how 98% of the public out there has no clue because it's complicated to understand that this actually happens, uh, yeah, I think it does. So does, uh, uh, so does GATA.org, interesting article here that they wrote. What if the risky positions on J.P. Morgan's books are really the U.S. government's? Wow, well, that's a thinker, huh? Um, federal data shows J.P. Morgan Chase is by far the riskiest bank in the U.S. This is written by Pam and Russ Martins. Very good job there. Uh, the long-tenured chairman and CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, Jamie, Jamie Demon, as I like to call him, and his cohorts, his evil cohorts, likes to use the phrase fortress balance sheet when talking about his bank to Congress or shareholders. But the data stored at federal regulators show that the bank is by far the most systematically dangerous bank in the United States. And despite its high risk profile, neither Congress nor federal regulators have restricted the bank's growth. Its assets have soared 65% since the end of 2016 and stood at $3.95 trillion as of March 31st, making it the largest bank in the United States. 
Uh, so let's follow through here. Making the situation even more dangerous, the bank has admitted to five criminal felony counts over the past eight years. And Jamie Demon is still not in jail? Hmm, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, yeah, it does. Too big to fail, too big to jail. In uh, a multitude of civil crimes and multi-billion dollar fines, this is not conspiracy, folks, this is fact, uh, all during the tenure of Jamie Demon. that, mm, anyways, neither Congress nor federal regulators nor the Justice Department that brought those felony counts has demanded that Demon be replaced, even. Think about this. You know why? Because it's, they're all part of a big scam. <laughs> it's all, put, I believe, 100% uh, that governments are tied in with the central bankers to knock the price of commodities down, especially the price of gold. And in doing that, uh, they basically uh, allow these other big bankers to go into small markets like silver and make themselves a lot of money. Uh, because, of course, if governments are indeed doing this, you can't call, they can't, you know, they're regulators and themselves, they, uh, they can't call out uh, 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 anyone for uh, uh, manipulating the price of silver because they're doing it themselves. They're doing it with other markets themselves. Uh, so anyway, the board of directors of the bank has been equally uh, obsequious, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that word, uh, towards Demon, awarding him a $50 million bonus after the bank admitted to its fourth and fifth count. Now think about that. The bank gave Demon, uh, Diamond, a, a $50, I'm going to call him Demon, $50 million bonus after the bank admitted to its fourth and fifth count, uh, uh, felony counts, folks, for manipulating markets, tens of thousands of trades that rig precious metals in U.S. Treasury markets. Think about this. And our data comes from the National Enforce and Information Center, a repository of bank data collected by the Federal Reserve. It's part of the Federal – anyway, it talks about where that uh, information comes from. Uh, each year, the National Information Center creates a graphic profile of banks measured by 12 systematic risk indicators. Uh, and let's go in here. We'll go down here. Uh, this kind of goes into detail. A good article. highly recommend you read it. Uh, and again, it goes into detail here. If you're interested in knowing more about this and knowing uh, – uh, and. For many years, uh, uh, GAT.org here has been saying that uh, they believe that there's a lot of these big banks like J.P. Morgan and some other banks were working directly uh, for uh, the U.S. government, directly for the central banks, and that's very possibly true. And again, read, I mean, look at the title here. J.P. Morgan's are really the U.S. governments? That's possible. That's possible. Maybe that's why nothing's been done about it, because the real crooks are the government. All right, let's, what's the best deals out there, folks? Well, the best deals are the same thing I've been telling you for quite some time, but the problem is right now for smaller stackers out there, uh, generic one-ounce bars, generic 10-ounce bars, all of a sudden just kind of are, are, are getting uh, uh, more expensive and harder to find. Uh, right now, we are out at the moment. We've got very, well, I got, no, hold on, I got quite a few left, but once I'm out of that, I'm going to have a hard time looking around. Some of the big distributors that I deal with uh, are talking anywhere from two weeks to a month and a half out on delivery times for ones and 10 ounce bars. Uh, meanwhile, if you can get them right now, scoop them up before they're gone uh, and they're tougher to get and the premiums are higher. I also noticed the big online sellers who I, who I will beat um, are, are uh, uh, also uh, uh, raising their prices. I think they're at the $5 plus level on uh, uh, one ounce uh, generics, again, in small quantities. Uh, and 10 ounce bars, and some of them may even have delay delivery coming up soon. Uh, like I said, I, I'll beat their prices and pretty easily and pretty handily. Uh, as far as gold, same thing. Uh, eagle prices are moving up, and that might have something to do with just all the gold eagles being sucked up from that big deal recently, driving up the premiums, because again, the U.S. Mint, as far as silver eagles and gold eagles, has not been making a lot of them in the last few years. Uh, they've got a lot of excuses, maybe lack of employees, lack of help, lack of plants, just lack of, you know, uh, uh, the, cr the critter. Uh, they got all kinds of excuses, but the fact is, I just think that uh, they were asked to slow down on, on, uh, on silver because uh, they were going to hurt the, uh, uh, <laughs> they were going to just take a lot more silver off the market. So I believe that the uh, U.S. Mint, and that's conspiratorial to some, to some degree, but you want to hear something interesting about conspiracies with gold and silver? Almost every conspiracy with gold and silver, mainstream conspiracy with gold and silver in the last 30 years, turned out to be true, right? Think about this. Okay, you know, when everybody was talking about how JP and these banks were crooked and spoofing markets, no, no, you're, cons oh, no, bullshit, you're conspiracists. They all turned out to be true, folks. So when it comes to gold and silver and conspiracies, a large percentage of them, larger than almost any other conspiracies, have turned out to be true. 
All right, um, gold bars are still the best deal. One ounce is still readily available and uh, far cheaper, about half the premium cheaper than uh, 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 Eagles. I think Eagles are in that 160, 170 range right now in small quantities. And you can still pick up gar bars uh, for, for less than 80 bucks. And like I said, I advertise to beat the uh, big online sellers uh, for their, uh, they're the three big ones uh, that I usually use. Uh, at Max JM and SD, I'll beat their prices and uh, <coughs> other people's prices as well. You know, hard to beat prices on eBay if some idiot goes out there and puts the. Uh, uh, and again, there's once in a while you can buy from eBay something cheap, but some guy puts out a gold eagle out there. It sells for 20 bucks less than everyone else's, and the guy ends up having to pay a fee on on top of it. So yeah, occasionally you can pick up gold and silver for cheap on eBay, but the problem with that is that it's not going to be much cheaper. And if it is, did you get a real product? Uh, again, another great reason to deal with uh, dealers that have been around for some time and uh, know their products like we do. Uh, best Again, best deals are one ounce bars. Stay away from the sovereign products. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to call me at 954-493-8811 between the hours of 10 and 4, Mondays through Fridays. Uh, we are setting up, uh, we are already in one of our companies here, which is, uh, uh, where did that go? Uh, Concierge Bullion. This is our higher end, uh, not higher end, but this is the stuff where we sell uh, 100 ounces of gold or 2,500 ounces of silver more. So if you're in that market of buying over 100 ounces of gold or over 2,500 ounces of silver at one given time, uh, call this number and ask for Brian. Actually, I'm the guy that primarily picks it up. Uh, but call this number right here. If you're looking for smaller deals, I am working on getting, uh, you know, less than those type of uh, ounces, you know, less than 100 ounces. I am working on uh, finding a way to do uh, sales on the phone here. Uh, not by credit card, but uh, uh, phone sales uh, through this company right now, so stay tuned for that. Uh, this may t it's work in progress actually. It's a new business model for me because I'm used to uh, uh, brick and mortar only, but I'm going to start delving into uh, shipping stuff uh, and uh, doing uh, phone sales. So I'll keep you updated on that as well. Let's, uh, oh, best deal out there and the most plentiful thing in silver, I uh, forgot to tell you, is kilo bars. I still have a great deal on kilo bars. I can beat almost anybody's prices out there. And uh, I still have it, and you get decent availability of those. Uh, 100 ounce bars as well, but kilos are still cheaper right now. That could change though. Uh, what, let's see, go over here and take a look about yesterday's video. I want to make a, uh, I want to you know, go over a few comments here. And give me one second. You know me, I like to answer the comment section and uh, acknowledge all the people that take the time to comment on my videos. I appreciate that uh, very much. Don't forget to hit the uh, like and subscribe button as well if you haven't already. It'll keep me in your feed, especially that subscribe button. Um, yep, Strongman, I agree with you and uh, we work hard, maybe they don't have to, but the dip. Uh, yeah, my video yesterday was a little bit odd because it started at 41 seconds and, and uh, Marcelo, who I was saying hi to, is my video editor and <laughs> he left that in there, plus me coughing my head off. Um, <clears throat> there I go. <clears throat> uh, the scourge, does anyone think there'll be U.S. government around five years? <sighs> Good question. Uh, you know, I hope so. I mean, but I hope it's a, you know, I hope it's a constitutional government. I hope we go back to our constitution. I hope we get rid of all these Marxists and socialists who are destroying the world uh, and creating wars. Uh, Dan says, uh, uh, Andy is a uh, 50 million dollar coin dealer. is up in Boca and Rick rules. Uh, uh, maybe not too far from you, maybe, yeah, that's right, there's supposed to be something up in Boca, uh, but someone else said that it was, give me one second here, $700 to attend that event, no kidding, I think I'm not, I don't think I'll be there, a uh, thousand pound guitar says I'm in Boca, uh, I know this guy, he's a nice guy as well, but I'll beat his prices, and I've known him for, since I was a kid, uh, super nice dude, um, what else here? Okay, a little porn going on right there. Let's knock that out of the uh, remove. We'll just get rid of that one. Clinton says, Brian, love the channel. The F word does not offend me. It's called freedom of speech. Thank you very much. I agree with that too. And again, I always just throw it out there just for effect. You know, sometimes I am in a pissy mood and, um, you know, I, I, it's like a machine gun. So <laughs> and it's a way for me uh, uh, kind of letting it out a little bit uh, with emphasis, you know what I mean? So uh, I don't do it just for the sake of doing it. Usually when I'm doing it, it's because I am truly, uh, um, I won't say piss, but ah, maybe pissy, you can say it. I can say it. Um, let's see what else is going on here in Nevada. Largest producer of gold in the U.S. And uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Thanks, Silver Liner. My local buys Silver Eagles for me and doesn't write anything down. Uh, well, you know, that's not good. If he ever gets audited, he's going to want to write something down. But I, I think when you're saying uh, uh, doesn't take any 1099s, but I don't believe he has to. I'm not quite sure what the rule is on 1099 and Silver Eagles. I think it's the same thing. There's a mark, $25,000, where you have to uh, 
I write that up. Uh, do I do business with Canadians? Uh, you know, I don't think, uh, even though we're going to start doing some phone business and we're going to start doing business outside our area uh, with, this, uh, with people, uh, I don't think I'll be able to ship outside the United States. So probably not, Twanger. Thanks for, for, for commenting. I appreciate you watching as well. Um, <clears throat> but if you're ever in the United States, come and see us, especially in Florida. I know a lot of Canadians come down to Florida. Uh, you know who 33111 is. If you aren't considering commissions, then you probably aren't doing it right yet. You do have to consider taxes when you're doing this stuff. Uh, remember that a lot, when you go to sell your gold and silver, chances are you're not going to be paid in cash for it, unless it's super small quantities. Uh, you're going to get paid with a check, and a check has to go through your bank account. A bank account it has the scrutiny of the IRS, so you have to keep your books in order, folks. You have to plan on this stuff, so it's going to happen. Um, even though I live in Australia, it's interesting information. Thank you. I appreciate it. And greetings to my uh, friend down in, down under, I should say, Wallace Fowley. A lot of great surfers down in Australia uh, and fishermen. Uh, Mayor Pride, Great White North being North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, it's cold up there for me, Florida guy. I've been in Florida so long that North Carolina gets cold, but uh, no, uh, I, I know what cold can be. Uh, essentially, since 13, the Fed has demolished the value of the fiat dollar. Absolutely true. Um, uh, you think I'm using this channel to vent and save money on going to a therapist. There's some half truth to that, sir. This is like half therapy. <laughs> That's where my F-bombs come from. That's my therapist right there. Thanks for watching Crip Blood. Appreciate it. Um, 1099s and selling silver eagles. Uh, again, I've got to look that up, uh, but I believe it's about the same. It's probably over $25,000 in silver eagles. Um, uh, no, no, no. Silver eagles are probably exempt because it's American product. But uh, if it was bars or something like that, I believe it applies to certain silver products as well. Uh, they have a list. They have a list of things that you have to. Again, that 1099 broker reporting law is such bullshit. It's such nonsense. And again, w with the right company that ever got charged with something, they could knock that rule out pretty easily, contest it, and 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 <laughs> and prove why it's a bullshit uh, rule. But anyway, s talked about that yesterday. Don't want to rehash that. Uh, thank you, Coogie. Appreciate that. Christian, our government is a parasite. They absolutely are, but they're also become predators mostly uh, because they're outright just stealing from you now. Um, cheating, stealing, all that good stuff. Uh, East dumping treasuries. Yeah, uh, China has dumped a crap load of treasuries. I believe the Russians are, uh, are dropping treasuries too, I think. I'm not sure, but I know China has. Uh, they, no one's talked about that. I'm talking about, you know, billions and billions and billions of dollars in treasuries that China has dumped in the last uh, year. Uh, and again, you don't see that in the mainstream news, and probably there's a reason for that, uh, because we're in big trouble, folks. The dollar's in big trouble. What about buying fractional gold? Premiums do high, in my opinion. Don't buy fractional gold. You know, if you can pick up stuff and you can pay on fractional gold no more than, you know, 7%, 8%, which I think is too much, uh, that's okay. But when you're talking about the uh, sovereign products and fractionals and some of the bars, you know, you're looking at nine, 10 to 20%. I mean, take a look at the premiums on some of the online websites with 10th ounce eagles. It's, it's insane. It's uh, closer to 25% or something like that. Um, due to FISA courts and terrorism, no, no, it has nothing to do with that. All it is is just nonsense. They want to know every penny that you have and where you spend it and where you get it from. Uh, the Rock says, Eastern guys have more respect for metals. We don't believe you'll see prices uh, I, I don't believe that either, and I think you're right there, Joe Rock. I don't think we're going to see much below 1700 but again, never underestimate these bastards. All right, I think that's it for the morning show. Think for yourself, question authority, as I always say, and you can't question authority and uh, think for yourself unless you really question what you believe to be the truth and what you believe to be the narrative. Uh, who did you get that truth and narrative from? Is it yourself? Did you, did you come up and come to the, that deduction by yourself? or? Was it your parents, school, major media, or whatever it is? But again, I think the, the gosh darn, I can't get that screen to reduce. I think the best way to uh, uh, be able to think for yourself and question authority is first question your own narrative and opinion. Uh, once you've done that thoroughly, uh, man, you are a master at questioning others. Hey, thanks again for watching. Uh, this is Brian with Concierge Bullion Services. Uh, if you're looking to buy over uh, 2,500 ounces of silver and over 100 ounces of gold, call us here at Concierge Bullion at 954-302-2046. And uh, this is our brick and mortar store. I've been around since 1995 in this brick and mortar store right here. Uh, and this is for the uh, people that live locally down here. Uh, you can visit us between 10 and 4. We do cash and carry on gold and silver products. But again, we are looking to uh, turn this into uh, phone sales as well for a lot of you folks that want to purchase from me and don't live in my area. I'm trying to figure out a way to do this. 
uh, for uh, folks that are buying less than uh, 100 ounces of gold and folks that are buying less than 2,500 ounces of silver. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.